whole heap of people need to hear this. You don't need glasses to see who no in you. You don't need glasses or hearing aid to see who do into you. A man who allegedly used a makeshift knife to stab his cellmate during an argument at the Offer Tree Police Station lockup last year has been charged. Charged with wounding with intent is 36 year old Kirk Douglas, a welder of Roden Crescent, Kingston 5. Reports are that about 10.45 a.m. on Wednesday, December 13, 2023, an argument developed between Douglas and one of his cellmates. The police said a tussle ensued and Douglas reportedly used a makeshift nurse to stab his cellmate several times. The injured man was taken to the hospital where he was treated. Douglas was charged on Tuesday, April 30th and is now awaiting a court date. Criminal is pitting them and a thief in pitting them. We feel like, say, means so it's there. When you see how it's there, it means, say, me have other responsibilities. Me now go out and I do all these things and I mind my pitting them. You hear me? I work very hard. I work very hard for interest and my two pin them. Okay. You hear me? I tell you. So you see, I'm going to do pin if I'm done with technical. I'm going to talk this to the world world. See and know and hear. This is an aware case. See, right now, I have a photo. I have no proof. I have nothing for all them. I have a dirty boy. You see me all them. You see me get a picture of the youth there. Of them two youth there. It not go nice. I rub any floor for my penny them. You hear me I tell you? I don't care much years. Because me now go sit down in my house. I come sit down today and get a phone call to my penny, get a box. Because what? Them want him lunch money? I don't walk for nobody to kill this penny. We could, get, we could get rid of just one condom and a, a couple people could get rid of them crosses there, you know. Early minister to society, you know. It's a call me get from my friend, you know. Witness, you know, she stand up and sit to you, girl, for my youth, you know. And I make her find pocket. But she said, the youth flash them off. By the time you flash them off, you pick up a box from one of them. Me not box my 14-year-old. So who the freak is them? Who the freak is them? I don't want to know. So because he not get a lunch money now, them turn on and box him. Yesterday them complained to me, yesterday Monday them complained. He said, Mommy, don't want to go to school tomorrow. Me said, what happened? And him tell me. He said, I'm at him for money. Two don't own pitney. Me turned to him and said, Rahim, them got different school from you. So here what you do. Don't, if you see them, take the other way. Right? And me look on the phone, you know why it hurt me? Because baby tell me, say, don't want to go to school today. I'm still selling him. On in my bed and get phone calls. Say, she just wanted to just see some done on pity box on people. She said, She's she she shocked. She looked to see where Ryan turned. She said, Ryan go up in a dirty bus. Ryan go up in a dirty bus. And go up in a dirty bus. She come the same time. So when I get mad, I said, so Why you never go off for them? The time you call me, go off for them, clots. Go off for them and see can get a picture of some coming. I go around in school. And the girl, I'm going to do it for no, myself. I do it. And that, I mean, it's got her own high mother to sit down and yes, if you are dead. So, them attack him on there, they don't get it, them come back to us and then put on box, pan him because I feed them pitney. Then, then a 10th grade, they're doing 11th grade because she said, I'm a full cocky. And I don't know them go. And that, my baby, explain to me too. You hear me, I say, right now, my chip cross this clot. I'm fucking serious. I not play with them early criminals. Because some mama and some papa know say them have some kids, them have some people they never want. The one kind of my couple people get rid of. Kill is fuck, bring them here. And have them criminal pin them and send them out the road for tea, people things, to come give them. My walk. My walk and take care of my own them. I'm going to sit down for my ass. I'm going to... That I look grievous. That bag of aggravated. I'm going to say steal. In bad my opinion, I'm going steal. He never like come out. They have a force him. He never like come out. I don't want to 
has food and the house and internet, if God him no one got road, I'm mean, understand I'm a baby stay so. Cause out of road, cool. Look, look here, seven at the I don't look here no man. You see the father don't know that them look a dirty criminal pin here. And I don't know this high school messenger of Kazi or no. If me come down there, come report this. What am I gonna get out of it? Right? Wanna well, keep a meeting? Tomorrow when you put in the outer road on a town, wanna do. When them down a town, one wanna do. Eh? We don't have no control over them. Una don't. And because it looks simple. And puny. Una una choose to pick by him. Because I don't know, say me a walk for four for done on pick crosses, pity them. Don't know technical high school me attack from down a town that's a out of east Greenwald Road. The bleak weather added to the thick cloud of grief that hung over the community of Bamba St. Anna on Thursday as residents struggled to understand why an elderly woman was tied up and her house set ablaze. 80-year-old Sylvia Miss Ponchi Barretta farm and vendor from Spring Garden was found dead at her home Wednesday evening. According to the police, one of her relatives saw fire coming from a section of the dwelling and raised an alarm. The fire brigade was alerted. Police said Barrett's relative and neighbors worked to extinguish the blaze before firefighters arrived to perform cooling down operation. Barrett's partially nude body was found in the rubble. Her hands and feet were bound and appeared to have small burns mark. Her neighbors are outraged. This is slackness. This worse than slackness. As a matter of fact, oh, you are going to murder 80 year old woman. What can she do to hurt you? This is horrible and disgraceful. How can you treat a human being like that? Said a woman who identified herself as Evelyn. Barrett would have celebrated her 81 birthday in July. Our elders don't get to celebrate enough for how they build our country. Mm -mm. Me I beg the police to find anybody who do this and bring them to justice. Them can't get away with this, trust me. This is unheard of. This cannot and must not go unpunished. Me I beg the new commissioner. Sir, please put this one on the radar. Send all your truths for this one, sir. Me I beg you the whole bamboo begging you, he pleaded. Kennedy, another resident is hoping the police investigation that is now underway will lead to swift apprehension of the killer.